So today we're at Greg Ranch. Uh, Dr. Greg is a vet that's very close to our feed store, um, just a few miles away, and he does hundreds of embryo transfers every year. He's gonna let us uh, watch as he tries to flush a mare and get an embryo out of her this morning. So that's what we're here for today. Hello everyone and welcome to a very scientific episode of Steve's Horse Show. On this episode, I'm talking to Trudy with Greg Ranch and she's going to explain a little bit about what they do here at the ranch. Trudy, talk about when a person first brings a mare to you or wants to have a mare brought here, what is the process that you go through? Well, normally like if a person is just wanting to breed their mare to carry, you know, they have a stud in mind, what they've got going on, stuff like that. Um, if the person lives close, they might haul in, take the mare home, stuff like that, and we'll follow her periodically until she's ready to breed. Um, it makes it a little more cost effective right. for people like that. Um, like with the mare here that we're flushing, um, they come about the middle of January, and they're here till May, June, yeah, just whenever. Um, her and her stable come here and they're dropped off. Each mare has a list of stallions that to be bred to. No specific order, which kind of makes it nice for us. Yeah. Um, so what's the process then? So you flush? So we will we'll check her throughout her cycle. Um, and doing an embryo transfer, we need to know what day that mare ovulates. So once she gets to where we're ordering semen on her, she's palpated every day. And occasionally twice a day depending on if how close she is how close she is if it's something we're going to be bringing her in the evening or if she can wait till morning um, so it's down to it, the it comes down hour, but it, but really yeah. um, <clears throat> we're going to breed as close to ovulation as possible so that gotcha. mare is literally walking in these stocks six to eight times a day 24 gotcha. hours a day gotcha. middle of the night whole nine yards we try not to do it in the middle of the night. We try to set them up so they're going to ovulate during the day. Gotcha. Um, Trudy says she charges you extra if your horse ovulates in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it makes life a little inconvenient, but... <laughs> um, call and night service call. Night service call, right. After hours. After hours. Um, not in this business. <laughs> so once you, once you flush it, talk about where you go now. So we find it on the microscope, and then it's transferred out of the search bowl. Uh, into a four-well solution where the embryo can be washed. Um, if a mare's got some debris or we have flushed some mares that you can't even see through the fluid and by golly there's a little baby in there and it's like a rescue mission there. Yeah. Get him out of it because it's not a good environment. Gotcha. Um, uh, sometimes we'll put a little antibiotic in the solution if something that happens and let them kind of marinate in it gotcha. and get healthy again. Um, and then in that case, once usually so the you're embryo actually is growing horses in a bowl, so to say. Well, no, they're growing <laughs> in the mare. We take them out of the mare, check on them, check on them, clean them up, and put them in another mare. Ask them if they're fast. <laughs> yes. Are you fast? Can you cut a cow? Um, <laughs> um, are you going to be Palomino? Are you a filly? You know, most people are like I want fillies and I want color. We ask them questions. Yeah, we ask yeah. them questions. So, so then, so where do you take them from there? Okay. Well. Um, like we have a recipient mare herd that's here, um, and then we have a recipient mare herd. That you basically got because they have to cycle. At they the have same to time. cycle at the same time, so every day we're palpating recipient mares, um, and ideally, for people that want to have their own recipient mare, like if they have two mm -hmm. mares, I want to breed one, use the other Here's one as recipient, recipient gotcha. mare. Um, that's not always easy to set them up because gotcha. you're limited to that mare. Right. You know, whereas yeah. we have a herd of 90. You can just say, we have, I'll have like, one. That yes, we'll exciting. have one of those that matches with this. Gotcha. Um, and, and some people, you know, it can be very cost effective to do it that way. And the thing about a recipient mare is they don't have to be cycling like a mare that's being bred. We can fake it. Yeah. Today was a sad day. Hopefully, we weren't bad luck, but Dr. Greg went to flush one of the mares that they thought had been bred and could not find an embryo. So um, after two tries, he had um, said that he's going to continue on with uh, other flushes because he has a lot of flushes today. 
Um, so we didn't get to uh, watch an embryo get put into a recent mare, um, but the process is pretty easy for that, so that wouldn't be uh, very exciting to watch.